Why, I do declare this is a fun project. Today I'm going to show you how to paint a fabric fan. The supplies I'm using are from Smart Art, and if you want to learn more about their subscription boxes, you can check out the link in the video description. I got to use a bunch of products that I'd never used before, but I gotta tell you, I almost ruined this, this fan at one point in the tutorial, but I'll show you what I did, tell you what not to do, and, um, and it all turned out fine in the end. So let's go to the table and I'll show you how it's done. I love getting that purple box in the mail because I know I'm going to have some fun when I open it. So let's see what was inside the November box. First you have a leaflet and it basically includes information about all the products that are enclosed and also a tutorial if you can't think of what you want to make. Tea juice markers. I've never used these before. They're a fabric marker. A couple of Creative Mark fabric brushes, which I think I'll use a lot in other projects with heavier paints. A fabric fan, which comes wrapped right up nice and tidy. And also a bottle of Lumiere acrylic paint by Jacquard and the color is number 542 citrine if you wanted to find that exact same color I used and you can see how lovely that fan is it was a little intimidating because I didn't want to mess it up and I only had one to paint but I decided just to charge right ahead and get started my first attempt on this fan was a massive fail. I thought that maybe I could use a pretty bird stencil that I had on the fan because I was afraid that I would mess up drawing freehand since I only had one. Um, but what I found was that the markers were so juicy they actually seeped under my stencil and um, it just was not a lovely effect. So I took the fan to the sink and I rinsed off the marker as much as I could and then I just went in directly on the sopping wet fan with the more markers. Now um, because I made a mistake I really kind of had to rinse it off to get that um, marker out while it was still wet but I don't recommend soaking the fan completely. If you want to have this watercolor background look like I'm getting now I recommend that you just gently spritz it with some water or you can even color onto your mat, spritz the mat with water and pick it up that way. I would not soak it very much because one of the little bamboo tines actually came on glued um, because I had so I'd rinsed so much water on it but it all worked out in the end I just wanted to let you know so you didn't make that same mistake I also put some juicy Lumiere paint onto my mat and this is just a silicone oven liner mat I'm using here and then I rubbed my fan in it too to get that kind of um, all over sheen in my background. I think it was really pretty and also I think it helped protect the fabric so that I would be able to use the markers and not have them spread so much. Then I let the paint dry completely on the background before I went into this step. Using a yellow tea juice marker, and I'm using yellow because it's lighter and I know if I make a mistake sketching it's not really going to show, I sketched on five flowers on the fan. Then I took a black marker and started to draw a branch connecting the flowers. I think it's easier to draw your flowers first and then put your branch in. That way you know your flowers are going to end up where you want them to be. And I put a few little branches on there for leaves. Then with a green marker I put the leaves on. A quick tip would be to take a couple like heavy soup cans and put them on each side of the fan as you're working. That way you don't have to use your fingers to spread open the fan with one hand and then um, try to draw with the other. So do that before you begin all this sketching. Now I'm adding the red marker just to the edges of my uh, petals and then I'm taking the brush and adding water and pulling that ink in so I get that almost Chinese brush painting look. Now the um, project that came with this Smart Art Kit was a Spanish fan but I, I've always Always loved the Asian fans so that's kind of what I was trying to replicate with my design here. You can see as the fan starts to dry that the ink appears much lighter on the red flowers so I just went along the edges with some marker again just to kind of punch up the color so if you can see the ones on the right look a little more crisp than the ones on the dark go ahead and punch up that color you can always layer on more of these tea juice markers. Now use a black marker to add some accent lines it really will make your design pop. For a bit of fun I sketched on two cute dragonflies and added a bit of blue to each of the wings. I think it just punches it up and makes it look so fun. Then using the metallic acrylic paint straight from the jar I added accents of metallic green on the leaves of the fan. The background looked a little too uniform to me and I really love the look of like when they paint silk scarves and they have kind of that mottled background. So what I did was I scribbled some of that tea juice marker in blue and I did some green too um, on my craft mat and then used a wet brush to pick up the color and then flick it onto the fan and it gave it that beautiful mottled look that I really associate with um, Eastern art. I also scribbled out some red ink and then used my round brush to uh, pick it up and add it to the flower petals. And here's how it looks when it's all dried. The colors are vibrant and beautiful because these are high quality supplies in the Smart Art box. If you would like more information on getting monthly art supplies delivered right to your door, check out smartartbox.com. There's a link in the video description. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.